Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm talking today about knitting stitches for beginners. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We're going to learn all about knitting stitches for beginners today. If you're new here, do subscribe. Even if you're not new here and you've watched a few videos, subscribe as well, because if you click on the little notifications bell, that will mean that you have notifications. Whenever you, I put up a new video, YouTube will let you know that it's there to watch. So knitting stitches for beginners. What are the knit stitches we need? Well, you may think, especially if you're a crochet already, well, my goodness, I've got so much to learn. When it comes to knitting, you only have two stitches, the knit stitch and the purl stitch. If you're looking at crochet, then you're seeing lots of different stitches, all with different abbreviations. You have to remember them and mix them all up as you go. But with knitting, it is just fundamentally two stitches. And then you mix them up and you make interesting patterns with them and you use them in different ways. So that's it. Let's learn those two stitches first, the knit stitch and the purl stitch. Let's take a look at the knit stitch first then. It's quite simple. We, um, if you're already starting to knit, you will have stitches on your needles. And by doing that, you have done the cast on. And you've been using both needles, one needle in one hand, possibly one needle in the other hand to create that cast on and to put the stitches on the needle. So now we're going to look at the knit stitch and we are utilising very similar methods that you've already done. So the knit stitch is what you do when you put your right hand needle into the stitch that's sitting on the left hand needle. That needle goes into that first little loop that's at the front of that stitch there and the yarn that's in the right hand goes around the needle from underneath to over top. You pull that loop that you've just made through that stitch and you drop that stitch off of the left hand needle off the end there now i'm going to do a few more stitches and then i'm going to show you something that's actually going to give you a real clue about how to tell the knit stitch and the purl stitch apart so that needle goes into the front loop of that stitch there the yarn goes around you pull that loop through and then you drop that stitch off of the right hand needle there and again, in, around, pull it through and drop it off. In, around, pull it through and drop it off. In, around, pull it through and drop it off. Now then, what we are doing here is making stitches and we have yarn sitting at the back of this right hand needle. This is a very important point that you need to remember. The yarn is sitting at the back. So as you make a loop around that needle, you are creating a little bump of yarn at the back here. So the yarn goes around and then as you drop this stitch off the right hand needle, it falls to the back of your knitting. And that creates another little bump at the back there. This is how you identify a knit stitch. You have a loop being created, so there's one lump at the back you drop the next stitch and you have another loop at the back. Now, we're going to start doing the purl stitch in a minute, so just remember that you're making lumps of yarn at the back of your knitting at the moment. There's a lump because you're pulling the yarn around, it's just looping down the base there, and you're dropping that stitch off of the left-hand needle, so you have another bump. Okay, now when you do the purl stitch, your yarn isn't sitting at the back of the needle, Instead, it's sitting at the front of your needle. This is the biggest difference, and you're going to see why I just told you all that about lumps as I start to do the purl stitch. So in the purl stitch, you have your needle, your needle behind the yarn. So the yarn is sitting here in front of the right-hand needle. You still use the front part of this stitch, but instead of going through it and your needle is at the back there, you go through it and this right hand needle comes in front. So you're approaching it from a different side. Okay, that's when you knit 
and this is when you purl. So as you purl, your needle is in the front of that stitch and the yarn goes around like that. From the right underneath all the way to the front again. And then you pull that loop through and then you drop that stitch off your left hand needle and this time it falls to the front. I'm going to do that again. Your needle goes in to the front part of this stitch here. The yarn goes around that needle point. You pull that loop through and the stitch falls to the front. Into the front, loop around, pull the stitch through and that previous stitch falls to the front. In, around, pull that stitch through and drop it to the front. Now, if I do a few more of these, you're going to see this yarn is making a loop at the front here every time I pull that yarn around the needle at the tip. See that little loop there? And as I pull that yarn through and drop that off there, we have another little loop. And that's why you can see these bumps here when you purl. And you now realize that it's the opposite of when you knit. Because when you knit, all those little bumps appear at the back. Now, what I've been doing here is alternating between knit rows and purl rows so that when I'm knitting all of the lumps fall at the back and then when I'm purling all of the lumps fall at the front so that you have a smooth side to your knitting where there are no lumps and then a lumpy side to your knitting and that's how you can tell them apart and that's how you can look at your knitting and say which row do I have to do next? Where are the stitches falling? Where are the loops and the lumps going to fall when I do these stitches? If those lumps are at the front, you know you've got purl stitches to come because you're going to move the yarn to the front of your right hand needle and you're creating the lumps to the front of your work. If you have a smooth side facing you, you know that the yarn is going to be sitting at the back of your needle. So all of the lumps and all of the discarded stitches from the left hand needle are falling to the back of your work. So now you understand the difference between the knit and the purl stitches, you can start thinking about mixing them up. And this is where it gets great fun because you can create so many different patterns with knitting and purling. The first thing I suggest you do is to start thinking about ribbing. And once you've mastered the knit and purl stitches, that's a great way to start. You can create ribs for cuffs, just like this is ribbed on my cardigan here. You can see the differences between the stitches. Notice this as well in your own knit where you'll see where it's happening. We've got smooth side on my cardigan, but underneath, if you go inside, you'll see that it's a lumpy side on the other side. Um, so you'll start creating an elastic edge if you start to do what is called ribbing. That switching between knit stitches and purl stitches very evenly across the row. I will link to the ribbing videos up here so you can have a look at them. And that's your first step once you've mastered the knit stitch and the purl stitch. Well, have great fun with that. Okay, you now know knit stitch and purl stitch. That's a great job, that's a great start. And yes, practice them. Take your time, get to know them and find a few simple, easy beginner patterns. Go and have a look in my pattern shop. I will link to beginner's patterns below, just so that you can get used to them. You can start using them, and then you can mix them up. You can mix them up in different ways. And if you've already practiced them, if you've been using them for a while, then I'm going to link to some more videos that you can use. They are going to show you some general textures that you can create with knit and purl stitches and they're great fun and you will find them in all sorts of different patterns as you work your way through your knitting journey. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I will see you again next week. I'm here every Tuesday um, so do subscribe if you'd like to be notified of that then hit the little bell and you'll know YouTube will let you know when those videos appear every week. I will see you then. Bye for now. Happy knitting.